if you want to play Fortnite very high FPS at 1080p or 1440p and you are looking for a new gaming PC build, you don't actually have to spend three or four thousand dollars on a new system like the top streamers do because if we are being honest with 1200 dollars or even less you can achieve 500 plus FPS on average making it possible for you to buy a 540 hertz monitor or a 360 hertz one. I'll show you the best 1200 dollars PC specifically for Fortnite with cheaper and more expensive alternatives, the ideal monitors and on top of that I'll show you the exact level of performance that you can expect with this system for both esports games and also high demanding ones. The link to this PC and every alternative mentioned will be down below in the video description. My name is Valentino, with that being said let's start. So first let's start with the main PC and the reason why this system is so great when it comes to Fortnite is mainly due to the CPU. This one is the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D which is arguably the fastest CPU in the entire market when it comes to gaming. So this is the main reason why you will be achieving 500 plus FPS on average in Fortnite at 10 dB resolution competitive settings. Then with this CPU you can also achieve 360 plus FPS when it comes to 1440p Fortnite competitive settings and of course the CPU needs a really good GPU as well and that's why I went with the AMD Radeon RX 7700 XT. This GPU is going to be top tier for both 1080p and 1440p resolution esports and high demanding games. Here you get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory which is going to be ideal for gaming but also for streaming. Then you get an aftermarket CPU cooler for the Ryzen 7 going for around 30 bucks. Then you get a very nice motherboard from the AM5 platform in the Astrog B650M Pro RS and I gotta say this is very upgradable over time meaning that down the line if you want to upgrade your CPU you can do so without having to replace the entire motherboard which is a huge pro. Then you get a one terabyte SSD which is going to be plenty of storage if your main game is going to be Fortnite. You get plenty of airflow as well because you get the fractal design pop mini air for the case. And last but not least you get an A tier ready power supply in the NZXT 750 watt 80 plus gold power supply so your PC will not randomly shut down or just be in any risk of any kind. And now let me show you the exact level of performance that you can expect with this system in different games. Now in eSports shooters you can expect the same 500 plus FPS on average, possibly even higher because those are even easier to run than Fortnite, they are better optimized. And then if you want to play high demanding games, well at 1440p on high to ultra settings you can expect 83 plus FPS on average which is a very high number considering the type of games that we are talking about. And then if you drop down the resolution to 1080p, you can expect well over 115 FPS on average. In my opinion, it is a bit of an overkill for 1080p, but if your main games are esports, then it makes sense for you to have a 1080p monitor. Speaking of which, if you want a monitor, I have three options for you for this system. The first option is this ASUS ROCKSTRIX 380Hz monitor and in my opinion this is the best value monitor for this system because if you are spending $1200 on a gaming PC you may not want to spend $700 on a monitor so this one is going for $300, 380Hz is very fast, everything will feel smooth and you get a 0.3 milliseconds of response time with a fast APS panel you are getting a very fast monitor for 300 bucks which is not cheap but it's also definitely not the most expensive one. Now if you want to max out your gaming experience then I do recommend you going with a 540 hertz monitor and in that case you can get the ASUS ROG Swift Pro. This one is a 540 hertz 1080p monitor maxed out so if you want to achieve the highest FPS and be able to see those and be able to see those FPS then this monitor is perfect but it is quite expensive at $800. And then if you want to play at 1440p instead and have a high refresh rate monitor then I recommend you the Omen 27QS. This is a 240Hz 1440p monitor right now going for $350 so it's not super expensive and at the same time you get better image quality than 1080p but you still get a high refresh rate monitor. 240Hz trust me guys is very smooth to compete as well. 
Now, the total price for this system is going to be around 1250 bucks by the time that I'm recording this video. Sometimes the 7800 3D go for a 40 to 60 dollars discount, and in that case, the price will be under 1200 dollars. So, I do recommend you checking the latest prices and availability from the links in the description. And then, if you have more money to spend for around 1400 bucks, I recommend you upgrading the graphics card to the 7800 XT. In terms of esports games, this will not give you a huge advantage because you are already achieving the highest FPS possible, but if you want to play high demanding ones, well at 1440p you can expect over 100 FPS on average, and that's going to be a nice difference if you want to play those high demanding games on high to ultra settings. On the other hand, if you have less money than $1,200 to spend and you want to play Fortnite high FPS, I recommend you downgrading the CPU to the Ryzen 5 7600 with the proper cooler. Now, I do have the Ryzen 5 7600 myself, and I was able to average over 360 plus FPS in Fortnite 1080p, so you can still average over 360 plus FPS, possibly even 500 plus FPS, depending on the area of the map, how optimized the new season is. This PC is not as fast as the other one, as the main one, but it is quite cheaper, going for a thousand dollars right now, so if you want to save up some money and still get an amazing performance, especially if you want to buy a 360 hertz monitor, this system will already max out a 360 hertz display then this is going to be the perfect pc for you remember all the links for the main one the monitors and everything else will be in the description and in the top link you will find my personal pc help in case you want me to help you find the right system and if you have a different budget let's say you have more than two thousand dollars to spend or you have less than a thousand then i recommend you watching my video on the best pc builds of the month for 1080p 1440p and 4k you will have that one in the top right of the screen thank you guys for watching thank you for your support and i will see you on the next one